it's good to be here once again hello everyone you're all welcome back to my channel my name is Folakemi and the name of my channel is Folakemi Atos I vlogged about faith food elder relationship and travels I hope we're all doing good I hope we're all keeping safe for those of you who are just joining me for the first time don't forget to hit that red button subscribe it's gonna help me for those who have been coming who are always here i really appreciate you i really appreciate you don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified thank you so much and god bless you today i want to talk about things that concerns everybody either male female married single young ones old ones and that is about money money is so important managing our wealth and our resources and i've learned that when you don't have a good if you don't have a uh, if you don't know how to manage your money you always have a problem and that is why i've heard a lot of people even personally i've gone through that i've got to learn how to plan my life especially my money so i'm going to enjoy myself most of the time we have little resources we don't have to have so much wealth for us to be able to plan our budget for us to be able to plan our money we should learn how to judiciously manage our resources no matter how little it is and that's why i want to do this video to encourage someone to encourage myself to encourage my friends to encourage my subscribers how do you plan even with the little resources most people say oh you are talking because maybe you have so much money that's why it's easy for you to plan let me tell you if you don't learn how to plan little resources it will be very difficult to even manage when you have big resources when you have big money so you have to learn how to manage little money for you to be able to learn how to manage big money so start now no matter how little your income is you must learn how to manage it you must learn how to save you must learn how to plan don't wait until you have all the money in the world it might never come so you have to learn how to manage with little resources you have learn how to utilize it effectively learn how to plan within your budget learn how to stay live within your means and not above your means learn how to live above debt most of us we have the problem of debt and that is why we cannot manage because by the time the little resources comes in we are already indebted so we must learn how to manage your resources very well for you to be able to enjoy your little resources and that is why i want to do this video i hope i'll be able to encourage someone and the first thing i want to talk about is before the money comes plan that is the number one plan don't wait until the money comes before you plan most of us will wait until we collect our wages our salaries or whatever before we start planning it's not gonna work because there's something about money when money comes a lot of problems comes with it a lot of issue comes with it a lot of i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this i want to do that comes with it so you must make sure that you you have effectively planned how you're going to spend the money for you to stay on track for instance you're collecting one thousand in a month you have one thousand in a month plan before you get that one thousand don't wait until that one thousand comes in you're going to plan it how you're going to spend it for instance maybe you want to pay tight tight is number one the second thing you have to plan for food you have to plan for your health you have to plan for your insurance you have to plan. make sure you have already put everything down and make sure as much as possible you stay with your plan i know sometimes unforeseen circumstances do occur but we don't pray it occurs every time so make sure as much as possible you stay within your plan it's going to help you so that you don't spend above what you have already budgeted for what you have already planned for so the first thing is principle about saving your resources is planning that is planning you must plan and you must stick to your plan as much as possible 
don't go above your plan don't go above your means if you know you have 1000 it will be very unwise for you to plan to buy a cloth of 300 within that same month that would be very unwise so you have to have your priority these are the things i want to prioritize for instance the first thing that comes to everybody's mind is food you have to prioritize food especially when you have a family you have to eat and eat well so you have to plan your food health education but your dependents if you have your parents if you have somebody maybe you need to buy something before you go to other things when you have excess but most of the time we buy the things that we don't need we plan for the things we don't need and that is why we cannot live within our means because you cannot collect one thousand dollar in a month and you're spending three hundred dollar buying cloth in that same month is never going to work so try as much as possible to stay within your means it's going to help you so number one is planning number two stick to your plan don't deviate don't deviate as much as possible as much as god can help you don't deviate stay with your plan another thing i want to tell you is that i learned this from adiola fayon in one of our videos I myself, I was guilty of this. Most of the time, we take so much pleasure in pleasing others. We don't please ourselves. So when you are planning, remember to think about yourself first. This is no selfishness. I've already told you, I believe in tithing. Some people don't believe in it. I'm not going to talk about tithing. That is not why I'm doing this video. It is left to you. If you believe in it, do it. If you don't believe in it, do whatever pleases you. And after God, think about yourself. Spare yourself. If you collect $1,000 in a month, and maybe you give $100 for your, for your tithe, the next thing you're supposed to do is pay yourself. And that money is for you to keep. You don't touch it. It's like you're saving for rainy days. It's like you're saving for your future. It's like you're saving for something good for yourself. Maybe you want to plan on a vacation. This money is for you. So plan it. You don't know, when you want to go for vacation, for instance, maybe in January, and you know that maybe you want to plan to go for vacation in August. If you want to go in August for vacation, start planning in January. Start saving for yourself. So by the time you are in August, you have enough money. You don't have to put your hand where you're not supposed to put your hands. You have enough resources to go for your vacation with your family. And you're going to enjoy yourself. Sometimes we think that this is not easy. But it is easy. If you only plan. That is why I said the first thing is plan. If you plan it, you're going to enjoy it. No matter how little it is. Even if it's $50. You want to pay yourself every month out of the $1,000. Be faithful about it. Make sure you're faithful. Make sure you keep that money and nothing should touch it, no matter what. Except it's life and death. So make sure you're keeping that $50. You can imagine if you're keeping $50 every paycheck from January till August. That would be something. And that means you don't have to touch any other resources for you to go on vacation for you to do anything you want to do with yourself that is your money you deserve to enjoy yourself you are working don't just work for people you are working you need to enjoy yourself i was guilty of this i must tell you so many years in my life i don't plan for myself i think of others but i realize that i'm not doing myself any good so, and that is what i've adopted now every month i have to keep something for myself Every paycheck, I have to keep something for myself. It is not left to me to do whatever I want to do with it. It is my money. I work for it and I need to enjoy the money. Another thing is that spend wisely. Spend wisely. Don't buy things you don't need. Don't buy things just because you see other people buying it. If you don't need it, don't buy it. Make sure you invest on quality, not just quantity. It's better, I said it in my other video, it's better you have three good cloth that is gonna you are going to use for the whole year than for you to have 100 cloth that will not be relevant by quality so that it's going to save your money. You might spend much on that cloth, 
but it's going to stay for a long time. So you don't have to be buying every time. Invest in quality. Spend wisely and invest in quality. Whatever you want to buy, buy things that you know is going to last you for a long time. In your kitchen, make sure you buy things. Know that you'll be changing your parts, your pan every year. Buy things that is going to last you for years so that you don't keep buying the same thing year in, year out. Buy quality. Spend wisely. Don't buy things you don't need. Don't buy things just because other people are buying it. If you don't need it, you don't need to buy it. That is another good point to save your resources. Another thing I want to say, especially for we women, if you have family, try and buy in bulk. Don't buy in bits. If you want to buy, buy in bulk. Make sure you save enough money to buy things in bulk. Don't just buy as you need those things. You're going to waste a lot of money. Make sure you buy in wholesale, not in retail. You can plan this with your friends. You people contribute money and decide to buy, put your money together and buy things in bulk and you share it. It is going to help you. I know some women used to do it. They will buy a whole cow and they will share it. And they'll have every part in their freezer. You can buy rice in bulk. You can buy beans. You can buy all the raw food you need in bulk. Condiments in bulk. So that you don't have to be going to store every time. Because one thing I realized is that going to store every time, you spend more. You spend because most of the time you go, to, especially we ladies, if you go to the store, you see things. Even those things that you don't need, you want to buy. So the best thing is that avoid going to store unnecessarily unless you have to. There are some things you cannot buy in box, like those perishable things that you know you have to just eat it fresh. Maybe like fruits and some other things. Those are the things you can easily go to store to get. But box foods that you know you can keep for months, try and invest in buying in bulk. It's going to save you a lot of trouble. It's going to save you a lot of money. So that is another thing I want to talk about. The next thing I want to talk about is that learn to recycle things. Learn to recycle your stuff. Don't waste anything. If you use this thing less this year, you don't have to throw it away. You can recycle. When I say recycle, I believe that everybody knows it. Is it that you trade in and get another one? Instead of you to just throw it away. Most of the things we throw away, we can actually recycle it. So don't be wasteful. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't be wasteful. Try and recycle stuff. You can recycle your cloth. You can recycle your shoes. You can recycle so many things. Pack it together. Make it clean. Go and sell it. And the money you get from it, you're going to use it to buy another one. No matter how little, you're going to get something from it. Avoid debt. Avoid debt. As much as possible. Don't go into debt. Don't be in debt as much as possible. I know sometimes we need to buy some things on debit. We need to buy some things on credit. But as much as possible, there are so many things we can avoid to buy in credit. If you can pay your cash and forget about it. Avoid debt. Live with means. Don't live above your means. No, that's why I said it start with planning. How much do I get? How much can I pay at the end of the month? How much can I realize at the end of the year? Plan all this. So it's going to help you. So you don't have to buy things that you know you cannot finish paying forever. There are some things you don't even have to buy in debt. It's ridiculous. There are some things you can invest on, but there are some things that doesn't really worth it. So as much as possible, avoid debt. Another thing I want to talk about is don't give out your money when you know you cannot take it back. I'm going to expatiate on this. What I mean is this. Someone came to you and said, please, can you please lend me $500? And you're earning $1,000. And you know, you don't have the guarantee that the person is going to pay you back. Please don't do it. I did it before. Living, just trying to satisfy someone at the expense of my own life. Please avoid it. If someone asks you to borrow or to give $500 and you know that the only money that you can give at that time, 
that will not affect your planning is a hundred dollar please give it whether you're borrowing or you're giving and you know that you are not affecting yourself but when you do things just to satisfy other people at the expense of your life it's going to mess up your resources it's going to mess up your savings it's going to mess up your life so don't try to satisfy others at the expense of your own life think of yourself first the bible says love your neighbor as yourself not more than yourself think about yourself think about your family think about what you're going to do because at the end of the day it is to come back to the same thing those people you give those money to are they willing to return those money to you and by the time they are returning it does it still come back with the same value no most of the time, the money will have been devalued. You have to realize the fact that any money that goes out might never come back. So give within your means. Give what you know that even if the person did not give you back, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to mess up your resources. It's not going to mess up your money. Buy only things that are very important to you and your family. Buy things that are very important to you and your family. Don't buy things that you don't need. I think I've already mentioned something like that. Buy things that is very important to you. Buy things that you need, not things that you want. Buy things that is very, very necessary, that is very vital, not things that you just want. Because we want so many things, but we can't have it. I live within your means. Plan your money. Make sure you invest your money. Think of something good you can invest your money. It could be a business. Because one thing about this money is that you need to reproduce your money. You need to learn to multiply your money. So start thinking of what can I do to reproduce this money? What can I do to invest? Think of something good. You can invest on land. You can invest on housing. You can invest on business. Something that you know that you can always reproduce. You can always multiply your money. Instead of you to just spend the money as it comes. That is why I said you need to plan for yourself. Keep some money where you can invest. Because business is very good. Even if you're working, you're collecting money, you go to work 8 to 9, 8 to 5 jobs, you still need to plan how to be getting some money back. And that is why business is very good. Go think of what you can invest, a kind of business you can do that will be getting a little money aside what you get from your job. There are so many other things, but I'm going to stop here for now. I think we're going to have another section on this. And I hope you have learned something. I have learned something. And I told you, most of these things I learned it from people. I learned it over time. I wasn't too good with money too. I get money, I spend it, I satisfy others, I make sure that others are like very important more than me. But with time, I realized that no, I need to be selfish with my money. It is my money. I work for it. I need to enjoy my money. I need to plan for my money. So that when I'm bored, when I cannot work, I'll be able to have something to fall back on. I'll be able to, I don't have to depend on people. I don't have to go into unnecessary debt. And that is why I'm doing this video to encourage someone. I'm doing this video to encourage someone. And I hope we have all learned from it. I have learned. I hope you are. If you're still watching up to this moment, I believe you are enjoying and you like what you are hearing. So, don't forget to subscribe. I told you, subscription is free. You don't have to pay anything. So please encourage me by subscribing. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for sharing this post. I'm going to see you in my next one. Until then, bye.